Good morning. Good morning. We'll see. No, we'll see. Nope, not having it. Okay. So, oh man, mama, six of cups just got wrapped. <laughs> Anywho, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sorry, guys, just channeling. Let's start with Taurus. Whoa. Okay. Justice. Let's find out. Where's my glasses? Let's find out what type of justice. It could be dealing with a Libra or something karmic. At the bottom of the deck, though, you have the five of coins. So I feel like it may be karmic, but. Now you got the page of coin. So you could be having difficulties financially. Um, I don't see a loss. I see a new start. Um, you might have green eyes. I, I just don't think you see it coming, if that makes sense. Okay, because his eyes are shut. Taurus, Taurus. Um, this is good for your Venus, too. Um, this is, I just see Venus because I'm doing Taurus and Justice. I mean, Libra was the first card out, so. But Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Seventh house, too. Okay. Dang, that song's back. I'm gonna hit you up in a minute. I don't I don't know if that's arrogance. Like I'll do it on my time. I don't like that. Taurus, Taurus. It looks to me though something is going to be as too many. Something is going to be balanced. Fed universally. Are you serious? Are you not going to give me anything else for Taurus? One more for Taurus, please. One more for Taurus. What's going on here? Wait, hold on. God, I feel like my hands are all blown up. One more for Taurus. Sweet. Thank you. All right, bottom of the deck, five of coin again. All right, so... If you are having financial difficulties, it's going to get better. I don't think that's what it's saying, though, because the Seven of Swords is right there, too. This, to me, something deceptive is going on at work. Or within the household. I don't know if that's past tense, hasn't happened yet, or it's current. Let's find out what this justice is. Justice, please, justice. King of Wands, so you could be down with an Aries. Seven of Cups, they're confused. They're confused about how to go about something. It could be... Why is this popped up on my screen? I don't know if you guys are dealing with an Xfinity and having Xfinity problems, but that's, that never pops up ever. The... Karmically... This is karma. With the Aries energy. They're confused on how to have a new start. It's, it's that simple. So this is either you or someone else. 
trying to figure out what to do first, what to do next. Tell me about the page of coin. Four of swords. Is this someone who's blocking a new start? For some others, this is somebody who's, who's just healing, resting, taking a time out. Majority of you, this is healing. So you're going to go through a healing before a new start. Tell me about the Ace of Coin. Could be work, it could be love, wherever you want to put your time. That's too many. That justice at the bottom, though. Ace of Coin, Ace of Coin. Some of you are definitely linked to Virgos, Capricorn, Taurus. Just... But here's the thing that hopefully, why does my screen keep timing out? That's so silly. Um, it's in the divine's hands. Well, it's in you guys' hands because it's someone's karma. So could take a little while. Someone feels restricted, trapped on how to have a new start. Someone feels like they just don't know how to do it. But this is all mental. All mental. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Princess of Pence. So you're both on the same page. But, but you're not. I'm not going to say you're stuck because someone someone has to take action. As soon as the Aries energy takes action, which is you guys, right? You're Taurus, but you're still, everyone's got every propensity. You have to take the lead. It just, stuff just doesn't happen like that. Someone must be frustrated. I feel it. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Four of Swords, please. I don't even want to say it's a freaking pause because you have. The opportunity is here, so if this isn't you, it's someone else. Or this is you saying, go have a start elsewhere. If you're waiting, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, so it's almost like someone's trying to find the balance. It's also gifts. I don't know what that's about, but it's also gifts. But it's like, it looks like she 
Looks like she's not giving the new start. So I don't know. Damn, the screen did it again. Let me just take care of this real quick, guys. I don't think it's blocked on your end, but I'm sorry about that. Um, she doesn't know how to give a new stat anyway. So even if he comes in, but right now he's confused. And if he's not confused, he just doesn't know which one to pick. So if you don't know which one to pick, pick pence, pick, pick time. It would either be work, time, investment. Someone's going to want to balance out the scales. And, and then it's like, it looks like the feminine's like, doesn't know her ass from her elbow. No disrespect at all. It, it's like you're literally just in that energy of like, what the frig? <sighs> Gotta get yourself out of that. Tell me about the five of coin. So if you're a feminine, you gotta change your perspective. You gotta ground yourself. Go outside, get fresh air, and anything. Focus on work. Do something else besides focusing on this situation. Because either somebody's coming at you with, hey, how do we do this? It's some type of gift. You're not going to know what to do. Someone's going to offer some type of something and you're like, well, what do I do with myself? It, so to me, it looks like it might have something to do with your finances because, and then you're like, I, I don't know if you even want this. You're going to have to take a break, like, like two of swords reverse. So you will make a decision. Because the two of swords reversed is making a decision. And it looks like... It looks like it's a financial decision. Okay. So, let's move forward. Let's do Virgo. Alright, my little Tauruses. Get some, get some rest when this person comes at you. Whatever comes at you, work, love, relationship, <clears throat> anything like that, okay? Get some rest. You don't have to rush into anything. <clears throat> Virgo. You know, and I almost said Midhaven, which is so ironic because that's not the first time I said that with Virgo. So some of you, it is, it's your Midhaven. You're watching for your Midhaven, and that has to do with your finances. And Virgos are awesome at finances. You can give Virgos freaking some strength, crafts, you, you name it. They're turning into an invention. You know what I mean? Like, give, give a Virgo a job. They got you. Page of Swords. Someone's watching you. You're watching someone. It's also the age of the Aquarius. Clear cut. Clarity. Communi you're communicating with someone about something. If you're not watching or vice versa, someone's going to communicate with you. It's ironic. You guys are coming in as pages. You got the Ace of Wands. There's some new idea. You got to put your mind to it whatever this is regarding. It, it, which I don't see there being a problem because it's next to the Ace of Wands. It's a very intuitive card. It talks about passion, excitement. So I don't feel like a, a stalemate by any means like we were picking up in Taurus. So if you are dealing with a Virgo, looks like you're going to be good. Oh, two came out. 
Knight of Swords and the Palace of Wands. So this is this is clear. You got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups there too. <clears throat> hmm. It's something so clear. It's definitely clear cut communication, a message, something you'd be happy about. It looks like you might be moving. You could be working with a Cancer or a Libra Quem Quemini, <laughs> Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I always me and my words, right? Tell me about the Page of Swords, Virgo. Once again, this timed out. I don't know why. Something. I don't know what's going on with you, my earth sign. Something about time with you. Tell me about the page of swords. Tower. This tower is gonna come in and help lay weight down. If that helps you with anything, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Someone yesterday had the towel with the Ace of Wands. I want to say it was a water sign. And it's ironic because you got the Queen of Cups right here. It's either you or someone else is the water. So you might want to go watch water. You got judgment. So this... You don't... There's something about... You want a second chance. You want so to revive something. You want something to come back to life, but it's like you're too mental. You might need more soul. Whatever's going down in your life right now is meant to go down with two major kind of coming out like that. And the fool just popped out too. Tell me about the tower. Did I already say that? If that's the case, the tower is all about the, a new start, but justice. It's, it's karma, guys. It's I don't even think you're dealing with the Libra. I mean, some of you can be, but like, it's karmic. has to be done. Nine of Pence. This came out in air. And it's ironic because you got two air right here. And I think it was a Leo video that had two air with the ace of wands in the middle, but they had the they had the nine of pence in between the two air. So you might want to go watch air too. I, I I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know if you guys think you're out of time. I don't know what is going on. The screen never times out like this. Ever. But this is stay confident. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Let's see what this message is about. I mean, it's going directly. It, okay, so they, it's like the King of Cups energy, Pisces energy, Scorpio energy. They have a new passion. They, it's the, the King of Cups is someone who is in love. You got the Page of Pens at the bottom of the deck, which might be linked to Berg, Taurus. Tell me about the palace of wands i don't know if this is a move like it could be a physical move or someone's moving towards it could even be the queen of cups this tower has to come in this moment but it's, it's serving a purpose palace just tell me about the palace well, that just did a 360 or a 380, 320. I don't know what the frig is called. You know me, guys. You can keep telling me, but um, I don't know if I'll, that will ever stick in my head. Got the Eight of Pens reversed. So it's, it's like not working towards it. I don't see. Here's the weird thing. I don't see anyone having a blockage. And if it, it is, it's, it's all mental. There's just, to me, it's like, there's just not enough soul. All up in your heads.
It's like something's just not together yet with you guys. I think you feel rushed or the, I'm telling you, there's something with timing. And it's not that it's not time. There's no such thing as, I mean, times are relevant too, right? But like translucent, it's, it's not like that. But like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if you feel like you're out of time. But I'm telling you, like, it's not like it's in the universe's hands. You have to partake. It's your own karma. Because a lot of people be like, oh, Tower Justice, you know, it's in the universe's hands. They cause that. Yeah, well, they cause that because you're not. It's your own karmic. It's your own karma. It's almost like something needs to be revived. You gotta have enough confidence to revive something. You gotta have enough confidence to move forward. If it's not you, it's someone else. <sighs> Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Libra, any air sign, Pisces, Cancer. Got fire here too. Okay. Um, tell me about the Queen of Cups. What is she doing here? What is the Queen of Cups doing here? I don't know if she, it's like she's got a cup. What is she doing here? It's, I feel like, it's like you're just, you're not a statue. Got the six of pens reverse. Like she's not trying to balance anything out either. Jeez, Jesus, crows! What the heck, guys? What's going on, with Virgo? You're not seeing something and it's... It's the Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, same as Taurus. It's like, you can be free though. You have to make a conscious choice and, and change the situation. Not seeing things clearly, which is ironic because it's like, it's, it's here. See what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying it's up to you guys to get yourselves out of this. It's like, it's like you don't want to see it. But there's somebody here that has got a lot of love for you. What is this King of Cups? I feel like this King of Cups is offering something. Oh, and you got the Queen too, so it's like a court. Tell me. Too many. But that wanted to come out. So... It's it's a romantic situation. That's not romantic right now, clearly. A lot of sexual energy here. The fish coming out, the dolphins over here. A lot of sexual energy. So, you have to... It, it, it's almost like the masculine with the page of swords. It's almost like they have to partake. They they feel the fire, the passion. But it's not moving forward. Because this talks about a move or a household or something like that. It's, it's not moving forward. The eight of pentacles reversed. Someone's still feeling restricted. And my Tauruses were really feeling restricted. Okay. I, I think it's the feminine that's feeling restricted. Get some rest. Meditate on it. You know what I mean, jelly beans? Capricorn. Capricorn, please, Capricorn. God, I feel distant, distant from you guys. I don't know what that's about. Man, I don't know if you're lonely, you're feeling the distance. What is happening with you guys? I feel distant. So you must 
not be in your cappy energy. Capricorn. Capricorn. Whoa, that's way too many. Capricorn. Seven of coin. The hermit. Three of coin. At the bottom of the deck, you got the six of coin. Again with the seven of swords. The last time was a five. You might be dealing with a Virgo. You're trying to figure out where to invest your time. See, all my earth signs, it's all about time. Time and money for you right now. And I, and I think that's the problem. I'm not going to lie to you. Because there's this, this feelings on the board. And it's like, you're not wanting to address feelings. And it, feelings might have to come first. And to be honest with you, I think you want money to come first. Finances, work, career, other things, other priorities. And they're asking you to soul search. Invest your time wisely. And like I said, not enough soul when it comes to something. And it's like... To me, this is teamwork, but it's also a contract. Oh, man, guys. Tell me about the seven of... coin. Uh, it, it's... The Empress, see, it's like you're not investing. See, it is the feminine. Huh. You're not... You feel lonely, left out. You're worried about work, love, money, you name it. You're not investing your time. It's... You're not... You're not finding the balance between love and work. And this isn't this. We've been talking about this for months about a situation where you're going to have to juggle all aspects of your life, even your home life, children, family, love, work. Tell me about the hermit. I think you got to tackle. It's too many. I think you got to tackle love first and you're not having it. And I can't, my advice would be to go deep into that soul. What does your soul want? See, you got to make a decision. It, to me, you already made a decision. You know what your soul wants. So, there's some type of contract that needs to be filled. Tell me about this contract. It's, it's all about your passion. Could have to do with a king of swords. Seven of swords again. I think you're sabotaging it. Tell me about the ace of wands. Tell me about the contract. To me, it's passion. What is your soul? What is your soul screaming? To me, it's it's standing up for what it is you want. It, it's you're fighting it. You're battling your own soul right now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Tell me about the decision. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Cups and the Six of Swords, yeah, it's a connection. You're, you're fighting it, but it's like 
You haven't learned the lesson yet. And your lesson right now is what does your soul want? And it has to do with love, partnership. It's not about work. Okay, guys, and I think you're making it about time, work. And right now the universe is, is telling you it's the connection between you and a loved one. Let me get your best advice with this deck. Signs, you must be frustrated. Got the four of Gabriel. It's time to celebrate abundant rewards, hard work, release yourself from burdened situations. Okay, so it is it's important. Everything's balanced here. It's the yin and the yang. It, there's, there's multiple things going on in your life, and especially with the two of pens there and the four of wands. Okay, so it's it's <sighs> It's finding the right solution, and the solution to me right now is, hands down, it's your connection. Okay, so I hope that helped. I love you guys. Bye.